654 right here on Colourful. We'll be chatting with um, UK published, 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 <laughs> published poet Angela Edgar just after seven today. So hold tight for that. She'll be letting you know all about her new book and also uh, there's a launch coming up for it as well. So you can find out more about Angela uh, in the next five minutes or so. So hold tight for that. You're listening to Colourful. Yes, you are. It's oh, one minute after seven right now. Actually, that was really quick. And I kind of was a bit previous there. <laughs> I'm trying to style it out, <laughs> but it's not really working. But I did try anyway. It is colourful, and it's the first day of the month today. I can't believe it. Ooh, next weekend is my birthday weekend, and I'm one of those saddos that actually enjoy birthdays. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, yeah, I'm getting older, but hey. Praise the Lord, we're still alive. <laughs> That's the way I see it. I'm just happy to be alive, quite frankly. So, it's going to be my birthday weekend. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to get drunk there, but I think I'm saving myself. The next weekend with the booze in, she says, as she gets ready to go home later on and have a bottle of wine. Not a glass, a bottle. Right, I did promise you that I'm actually going to be speaking to a UK publicist. Oh, I keep saying it wrong. Published. Thank you. God, once I get it in my head, it comes out right. Well, publicised, I keep saying. She's on the line listening, thinking, can't she speak? No, at the moment, I can't. I'm trying to do more than one thing at a time, and it's just so not working for me here. But yes, she is published. She's UK. It's her third book right now. Not her first. It's her third book, and I'm looking forward to having a chat with her um, right now on Colourful. Angela, Edgar, are you there? I am! <laughs> I love that Bye. breathy voice. Hi, how are Ooh. you? Oh, that breathy voice is really good. I am! <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, darling. I, you know what? I, I didn't even get to read all the stuff I wanted to read online, but there were small snippets, snippets of poems that you had there that I thought were lovely. The one that I really liked was the way you talk about why you write. Oh, okay, from the first book yes. inspired. Oh, lovely. I liked that. Yes, I remember my own poems. <laughs> I should hope so. <laughs> and look, you'd, be a bit, you'd be a bit like Jay-Z. Don't even have to write them down. They're all in your head. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> I aim to be like that one day. Oh, brilliant. You know, you've got loads and loads of stuff out. I was telling them that you've got a new book out right now. Tell them the net title of your new book. My, well, I actually have two new books that are coming out at the same time. Wow. And one is called Cinnamon and Sin. Mm-hmm. And the other one is called The April Right. Okay. Tell us a bit about both books. Well, The April Right is something I've been doing for four years now. Mm-hmm. It's my sort of celebration of National Poetry Month. So every year I um, I gather loads of different writers and poets and people that are generally interested in writing um, to write every day for 30 days during April. So it's quite challenging. But um, I like it because I like the encouragement and support that I'm able to give people, knowing that when I started writing myself, I didn't have um, the kind of support that I would have liked. So me writing myself, that's what I want to give back. Yeah. And that's how sort of like the April Write book came around. It was sort of my first three years of, of my poems for celebrating National Poetry Month. I mean, I've got it completely wrong then. This is not your third. You see, your fourth if you're right, you're bringing that to it at the same time. It's your fourth book. No, it's third. Four. Well, I'm right, currently writing the fourth, which <laughs> is um, <laughs> which is halfway done, and that should be out next year, and that'll be a children's poetry book oh, called in, Inspired for Kids. So that's something that I'll, I'll get back into once I've, you know, had a little bit of a breather. Yeah, because it must be kind of stressful that you're bringing two out at one time. It is, it is, but I love writing, so, you know, I'll do anything for my art. Mm. What is it that you actually thought that, you know, I can actually write poetry? Was it one of those things where you had, like, tons of words that just kept going through your head and you weren't sure what was going on or what to do with them? Um, when I was at school, I always used to walk around with a notebook and always jotting down ideas, and I didn't really think I was that good. Right. It wasn't until... I got older and um, sort of a back injury laid me up for about three, four weeks. I started writing, I joined a couple of uh, networking sites and started posting, wondering, what am I going to do? Are people going to read my mm-hmm. my poetry? Are they going to like it? As any writer will, you know, will think about 
when they do that and the feedback that I got it was encouraging yeah so I just kept posting and posting and yeah, getting I saw, more I feedback saw the, I saw the websites there is a number of websites that you've got <laughs> work on is that 10, 10 or 12 of them there <laughs> it is because that's you know I sort of had um, a poetry mentor as well uh, in the form of Vernon J. Davis Jr. Mm. who's the, the writer of two books called um, Love is the Beautiful Black Woman and Be a Muscle Woman. So he had been following my work and he'd said, you know, you're quite good. You should actually think about publishing. Mm. And I thought, okay. You know, if this is coming from from a, you know, uh, a, a well-known yeah. Yeah. author, then he might be onto something so that sort of boosted my confidence and you know I kept practicing and and sharing my work and um yeah and here I am to today with sort of three books out there hmm you know it's funny uh, you you are actually um I've been doing this show for five years and five years or is it five years this year it is five years I'm going mad no, actually, I think my five years is later on in the year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was trying to think, because the station's been here for five, but I necessarily, necessarily don't think I've, I started mine in October. So okay. my five year, fifth year is coming up, I think, in October, if I get it right. And you're, mm-hmm. only, you're only the second UK author. Really? Like, oh, yeah. I'm so honoured. Yeah, it's only, and the thing is, it's not because I have anything against UK authors before you're out there and will start shaking your fist at the radio. It's because... <laughs> They're not really they're not really coming forward as fast as how the US ones are. The US ones are quite forthright, they don't mess around. It's like, you know, they've got a book, they send it to you. <laughs> it's like done. You know, yes. read it. they're very they're very, very um how can I say, organised when it comes to publicising what they do. So Definitely. UK that's authors been... Yeah, sorry get Angela, go on, what was you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say that's been my experience as well. Yeah, they are. So um... I want more UK art authors to be exactly the same because you're out there doing your stuff. As like I said, there's a good 10 or 12 sites. I know your books and your, your works are on. Um, so you're out there doing your publicity bit. <laughs> Not your, I'm, your, I'm doing my best. You're grinding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as I <they> say. <laughs> you're out there grinding, as the US say. But yeah, I want more of the UK to start doing stuff like that. So I'm well proud that you're doing this. Um, oh, thank you. But you've got the two out that you're doing at the moment. But I want people to get a little bit more of a background on your first one as well. So they can, you know, just because she's doing two at the moment doesn't mean you mustn't go back and buy the first one as well. No, definitely. It's still for sale. <laughs> So tell us a bit about your first one, Angela. About the first book, it's called yeah. Inspired, and um, that sort of came of as a result of redundancy. And I thought, I'm not going to sit around and sort of get depressed. I'm going to do something that I enjoy. I'm going to rediscover something that I enjoy doing, and that was writing and writing poetry in particular. And that's how that one came about. And... Um, yeah, it was called Inspired because that was my goal that I thought if I could do this mm. as, you know, someone ordinary, mm. that could influence someone else to say, okay, this person, they've gone out, they've published a book, and maybe I could do that with, um, oh, sorry, maybe I could do that with, um, are you reading text One messages? One of my dreams. <laughs> I thought you was there reading a text message while you were no, talking. <laughs> no, 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 it's just come through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I was going to say this to you. You, over here we say poets. People are, yeah. they write poetry. In America they say the spoken word. There's no difference between the two, is there? To me, I don't think it, there is. Because mm. that's actually one, one poem that um, I did. Uh, for the April Riot, and I was just kind of discussing in it, is there a difference between poetry and spoken word? Mm. Poetry, I guess, could be taken as what you read, yeah. and spoken word could be the delivery of that. Yeah, yeah, true, true. That's a good way of putting it. That is a very good way of putting it, actually, because when you're doing the spoken word, I suppose you're more putting it into, you're acting it out, aren't you? You're acting it, it out the words. For some, it's, it's a performance. Mm. So you can have spoken word and you can have performance poetry mm. oh. and so on oh, I like that well some of the ones that you got where you're grinding hard I'll, I'll be your performer you read and I'll do the oh and the ah oh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the stress oh. <laughs> you, I, I was going to ask you can you remember out of your head or if you've got it in front of you that one that from your first book about why you write can you remember that one 
I can't. I oh, have damn. to read it. But I know. It's on your website. <laughs> well, and I can't get it up for some reason. But, yeah, it's on your website. My phone's messing around at the moment. But I, that, okay. that one is really good. So, people, you've got to go and buy the book anyway. Then you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There's other small bits in there as well. And it's, they're not all long poems. There's small snippets that you can get your head around that you've got in there. Yes. I love that. So, you've got the new book in front of you right now. I have. I have all three. So the middle book, which is the, the cinema and sin, mm. this one, it, I just decided to take things in a completely different direction. Mm. So it's a, a more adult um, mm. collection. So sad. It is. It is. <laughs> we, like shocked, to, we like to see here. <laughs> it's shocked a few people, but in a good way, I hope. <laughs> me and Shade, we do like the saucy books. Shade more okay. so than me. <laughs> I'm yeah. putting it, I can say that because she hasn't got a microphone to defend herself at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte, darling. <laughs> Don't shake your fist at me, woman. <laughs> can, you, can, you read, can you read something for us, then? Can we have a little snippet of something? Yes. Brilliant. I'll read you the, the why I write. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you found it. <laughs> I like this guy. This I do, yes. And um, so this comes from Inspired. I write when my heart tells me to. I write to share my feelings and thoughts. I write because God wants me to. I write so a lesson may be learnt or taught. I'm a pot on a stove, simmering gently. My emotions, feelings and dreams giving a stir. I'm a wonderful meal being made in a processor. When complete, go on, give me a whiz and watch me whir. I'm inspired by everything, including you, a stranger. A work in progress. I want to be an inspiration for all. If at least one thing I write touches you deeply, then my job is done. Who knows? Maybe it could be that one poem which halts your own free fall. I'm here for my calling, a purpose. A fulfilling, passionate one, I see. I don't want to live my life like a blur. I want to experience, savour it slowly, sharing with you what it's like to be me and to at last be free. I want to express and be comforted. To read, learn, and share what I know. To find out whom I was then, who I am now. Come with me, and together we'll experience this journey as I grow. Us writers and poets, we have our talent. I wouldn't claim to be the better or best. We all have our uniqueness that attracts readers. They alone are our judge. But it doesn't give us license to say we're better than the rest. I'm a humble, creative, and curious being on a mission to make my goal of my book inspired real. I work hard, do what it takes to ensure I get there, but I would never lower myself to plagiarize or steal. I'm not stuck writing in one genre. I'll tackle all poetry types and themes. I hope when I achieve this, I'll inspire you to go out and make real your own dreams. Yeah. I guess that's what happens when I put pen to paper. I catch a vibe, and I ride the power of the word. I have a beautiful soul and a soft inner voice, one that I, and perhaps some of you, now think shouldn't go unheard. I love that. That is so cool. Oh, thank you very much. So, so I love the spoken word of poetry. <laughs> Let's put it right. I like poetry, and I also <laughs> like it. But I also like it when it's done in the spoken word form. Oh. Right, it's, it's brilliant to have you on, and to, like I said, for the, to be only the second UK author that I've had on, which is, is quite sad, but we'll get some more, get some sorted out, guys. Um, we will get some more sorted out soon. Uh, but you're doing your launch coming up this month, isn't it? Because we're just into July yeah. today. So I can't happens. believe it's the 1st of July already. No, I can't believe it. The month of the beautiful people. That's what I like to call it. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, the, the launch is on the 31st of July, so it's a Sunday, and that's going to be a, a, a bar in Harrow called Masters. So it's myself and my fellow poet, one who actually took up writing at my my first book launch. Oh, wow. Okay. So she won, she actually won a prize, mm. and um, what I had said was I hope that, you know, one person in attendance here if they could start writing, that would be my dream come true. And brilliant. she kind of made that happen. Yeah, that is brilliant. So with her, this is this her first book she's doing? This is her fourth book. Fourth? Wow, she's been writing her like fourth, crazy. Yeah. She's been she's tell, been, <laughs> you tell her she's... Parkinson has been on a roll. Yeah, a frenzy. <laughs> yeah. You inspired her to get into a frenzy. That's brilliant. 
I did, and her book, her first book, fourth book, is called The Urban Time Bomb. So we decided uh, we'd have a, a double book launch. Mm. I think that's really good. I love that. Right, Angela, it's been fantastic having you on and hearing about your books. But before you go, we have to find out where they can find it about, more about you. Not one you're don't say all twelve of the websites. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll, be there, I'll be sitting here waiting. Oh, she finished, yeah. <laughs> Tell them your main website where they can find out more about you. My her. main <laughs> website is www.poetryforschools.com. So, poetryforschools.com, so you can find links to my other websites, and you can also get books on there, and generally just get in touch, and let me know what you think. Excellent. All right, UK published poet, I said it there, published instead of published, published poet Angela Edgar. Thank you very much for joining us right here on Facebook. Thank you very much for having me. No, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, darling. You take care. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is Carla Four, and that's Angela. I tell you, she's got some work. She's done some serious amount of work. You have to go and look up this young lady, definitely. 16 minutes after 7, and as I said to you, we are spotlighting uh, Rising on the Wall with the Destiny Child's album. Let's go with this. It's Carla Four.